Hey, what's up, my dokies? Jason here, bringing you back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Last time, we... What did we do? Whose blade quest did we take down? I forget. I'm a forgetful person. I forget. Yep. I forget. I can't remember to save a life. Or save my life. I think it was, um... I don't think it was Deli Dahlia's. Actually, I'm most definitely sure it wasn't Dahlia's. No, it wasn't Dahlia's at all. It was Dar or Harold's. Can't believe I forgot about that. No, we helped Harold with um with getting control under over her powers. Even though technically she lost control because we pushed her too hard, and then we helped her. But <clears throat> anyway, this time we're gonna be starting our first DLC Blade quest, and it starts right over here with Marcel. What's up? Well, you see, the thing is, your highness, there are some there was some unpleasantness. I have been trying to see if there's anything that can be done, but What do you mean unpleasantness? Well, you know there's been a rise in foreign visitors to Tantal since we came out of isolation. Ah, targeted Marcel is big racist. Not at all. I think it's marvelous. For the most part, however, the influx has brought plenty of unscrumpulous types, folks who mean tantal harm. We can't let the Omega Fetter come under th threat again. So the Tantalese army was deployed to ensure its safety. That's when an unforementioned unfor unpleasantness happened. As you say, a horde of Garlis have taken up residence in the area. Garlis, eh? Those hairy bl blighters with the antlers? They can be tough. We managed to corner them in the memorial ruins, but from there, it's a straight shot to the Genbu crown. That terrain is easy to defend and difficult to attack. Indeed, we were at a loss to how to mount an effective assault, and so we're forced to withdraw. Alright. Sounds like a job for us. Oh, goodness, no. I didn't mean for you to trouble yourselves. The Tantalese army has plenty of first-rate drivers at its disposal. We're planning to put an leech team together. Yeah, but that'll take forever. Time in which more people could get hurt. Yes, yeah, that's, well, yes, but... Stop worrying. We'll get it done, no sweat. Well, if you insist, good luck. Thanks. Won't need it, though. Cocky little so-so. Hey, cut me some slack. We take on missions like this all the time. If we are asked. we You don't want to be asked when people's lives are at stake. Not so sure about that. Master Pond's motivation is strictly based on profits slash loss calculations. So Poppy thinks word of Coven are... Corvin are... In, are a, Pickable. Tora is not so mercenary. Tora just thinks that if people can do it themselves, friends should let them do it. <laughs> Seriously though, let's just head over to the memorial ruins and check it out. Alright, we have Corvin's approach. Let's head to the memorial ruins. There are, 
There they are, all right. Their numbers are formidable. That's a lot of garlics in such a tight space. Looks toasty warm. Yeah, I bet they came down here to get away from the cold. Looks like this situation is a tad more nuist than we thought. Nuist shoemace. Let's just get rid of them like we promised. Wait, wait, wait. Inspiration just punched Tora and Brain. Oh? Goal to stop baddies is stop baddies from getting near Omega Fetter, yes? So instead of use soldiers, why not use Garlis? Master Pun has, has had a rare good idea. If even Tantalee's army can't pass Garlis, normal driver's chance is zero per to zero percent. I see. Very nifty. Sorry, but that's not gonna fly. What if some unusually smart Garlis decides if it, it wants to control Genbu, huh? Meh meh meh, that situation very bad. There might be a lot of them, but we gotta do what we gotta do. Yeah. Then let's go. Okay, bring it Alright, let's take them down. I can do this alone. Sword bash. Well done. Maybe yeah. not. Yeah. Yeah. Check it out. Yeah. Hot break. Why breaky. not? Focus. Alright. You can do it. Please leave it to the door. Nice. Don't touch master. Pay attention to me. Thanks for the support. Torrential. No, no, no. Because Master Pond treats Poppy so well. Okay, bring it on. I could do this alone, you know. Ow! So I think we found the head honcho. That's a big one. It looks a lot tougher than others we fought. Should the worst happen, I'll draw her. Huh? Corvin mean white sword? That's right. Her name's Dur Durendal. She's too powerful for anyone but a blade to wield. I was hoping we'd be able to finish this without releasing her. But I guess there's nothing else for it. Give me an opening and I'll blow th I'll finish this with one blow. We shall place our trust in you. I won't let you down. Okay, show us what you've got, Carvin. No! 
We lost the upper hand. Double spinning edge. Sword back. Break. Maybe we'll get out of this a lot. Double Quick spinning edge. Do you skip on the shot? Double spinning edge. Armor veil. Ha! 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 Maybe we'll get out of this alive after all. Gotcha! My thoughts on you! Sword back! Revitalize! Gemini, you're shot! Master Pond! Get attention of enemies! Happy Kitty Pie! Time to shine! Master Pond! Happy Kitty Pie! You're green to the outfit! Great! Everything was on your way! Rats! Pass it! Do it! Don't let you win in! Sword back! He finally no. got something right. Tora did it! Copy Kitty Pie! Your are in time to shine! Tora did it! You can run the shine! Double spinning air! The enemy is getting distracted! Scatter shot! There! Sure! Copy Kitty Pie! Tora can do it! Gotcha! Boom! Boom! Laser! Happy Alpha Let me take yeah. you. Double spinning. 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 Well, nice one, Corvin. Thanks to you and my trusty sword. Ben Shiv Shawuf said a lot of you. Yeah, sorry about that. I've been trying real hard not to give that impression. However, breathing was indeed perfectly synchronized. Thank you. Tora can't stand obvious braggadocio. Huh. Hey now, what's this about braggadocio, friend? Stop it! Tora not consent! <laughs> I didn't mean to sound like I'm bragging, but I see why it might look like that, since I am very confident. Exactly! Corvin never hesitate, not one bit! Ah, indeed. Of course he doesn't. He's the most self-assured character I've ever seen. Thing is, I have a very good reason to be confident. Just take a look at our drivers, and you'll see. Rex Neomoragzeek, you all have such power. And I know that you'll never stop using it for the benefit of others. Isn't that the kind of driver that's worth my confidence? That's why I act with certitude, because I just know it'll work out. No matter what obstacles we face, we won't give up. No matter the enemy, we'll fight with all we've got. That is, lot of faith to place in Driver is not difficult for Corvin. Not even a bit. Besides, you all believe in me too. Our bonds are the bonds of friendship. Yeah. So you think Drivers and Blades are just like mates? That's a novel thought. Poppy think Corvin is a little bit weirdo after all. <laughs> Come on, guys. Let's head back to town. We need to tell them the danger's past. I can tell he's showing off again. Alright, let's head back to town. Is everyone unharmed? We're right as rain, and the garlics aren't going to aren't gonna be causing any more trouble. Well, that is excellent news. I'll dispatch a squad to the Gimbu Crown right away. Yep, you don't want some other rotten blighters take to take up residence. Prince Zeke, everybody, thank you so much for your assistance. Thanks to you, we settled this with no casualties. Please accept a token of our gratitude. Don't worry about it, we didn't do it for the reward. 
That may be so, but King Elohimemnos asked, asked me to give you this himself. Well, in that case, give me. Talk about a quick change of heart. Well, at first I thought it might it might be that the Tantalese army had clubbed their wages together to reward us. The king is loaded, and besides, he's Zeke's pop. Let him reward us if he wants. Indeed, I promise you we didn't contribute a single gold. Please, just take it. You got it. If you ever need help again, don't hesitate to call on us. We'll be there on wings of justice. Captain Tryhard. Corvin never change. Nope. Phew. <laughs> Glad we got that over qui with quickly. Yeah. You really helped us, especially against the big one at the end. I'm a blade, that's just how we roll. Even so, I'm gonna train hard until you let me wield the white that white sword of yours. <laughs> That's the kind of spirit I look for in my friends. There's Captain Tryhard again. <laughs> Maybe you have a point. Maybe I'll try to tone it down a bit. I won't hold my breath for that. Have a little faith, Nia. I'll do my best to prove you wrong. Good luck with that. And with that... Our f the first of two DLC Blade quests are complete with a whole lot of experience that we get from it. And with that, that is all but one Blade quest here in Tantal. But we're not going to be finishing up Tantal's Blade quests until later on. Because there are two specific quests coming up in the next two episodes that I want specifically want to cover for those episodes. So, we're heading back to to Uriah next time on Xenoblade Chronicles to for the third and final quest in the Praxis and Theory chain. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you give a like. Troops out a ton. Make sure to subscribe to Dibbly if you've not already. And I'll see you guys all later.